Many years of research and development have been required to design and implement the main software systems of Part Engine, but finally we can dive into the making of the Game Engine Editor. A game engine editor is a graphical user interface desktop application that is designed and implemented to provide to the final user various tools that allow to handle the various functionalities of a game engine easily. Let's see what are the main tools that compose a game engine editor. We have the projects browser and the main editor window. The editor window, in turn, is composed by various tools like Assets Browser, Scene Viewport, Entities Hierarchy, and other sub-editors that manage specific resources, like textures, materials, meshes, animations, and so on. In order to build such desktop application, we have to carefully organize its development process. For the editor of Part Engine has been decided to split the process in three main parts. The development of the GUI framework, the development of the game engine and its subsystems, and the development of the editor. Let's see in detail each part. Let's start with the development of the graphical user interface framework. A GUI framework is a set of class libraries that allows to build a graphical user interface application in an easy way. Examples of this kind of framework are MFC, Qt, WX widgets, to name a few. A very few C++ GUI frameworks are able to support multiple operating systems, and even fewer are able to deeply customize the style of the various controls. Also, it is necessary to pay attention to the integration between the game engine and the GUI framework that could lead to a series of bottlenecks during the execution of the editor. So, in order to allow an efficient and optimized integration between the game engine and the GUI framework, especially between the graphics subsystems, a new C++ GUI framework has been designed and implemented from scratch, and it has been called Elux UI. The development of Elux UI has required some years to include all the necessary widgets, custom controls, and the features to build the game engine editor, like dockable windows, buttons, labels, tree views, text boxes, and so on. But now the framework is ready to be used. Let's move on to the next part of the process that is the development of the game engine. A game engine is a big software system designed to simplify the development of 2D or 3D software applications, mainly video games but even other kinds of applications like graphical tools or similar. A game engine is also composed by other software subsystems that provide specific functionalities. Examples of such subsystems are the graphics engine that allows to render the game world with 2D and or 3D graphics on the screen, the physics engine that allows instead to integrate physics functionalities, and so on. For a more in-depth explanation about this topic, it is possible to watch this video, in which it is explained how a game engine is made. Very well! Now let's finally talk about the development of the editor. As we have said previously, in order to create a desktop application like a game engine editor, we need a graphical user interface framework and a game engine. Once we have these important elements, it is possible to start the design of the editor. Designing a game engine editor is not an easy task. As for every graphical user interface application, it must be designed on two fronts. The user experience and user interface design, and the software design. In a very few words, UX and the UI design is the part of the software development process in which it is decided how the user interface of the application must be created. That means it is necessary to understand what kind of controls must be used for specific tasks, how those controls must be customized and implemented in such a way to be easily understandable to the eyes of the user. 
In general, UX and UI design are two different but complementary tasks in which we should decide the look and feel of the application. In particular, in the UX design, we deal with the feel of the application by doing tasks like the creation of user flow diagram, user testing, wireframing, and so on. In the UI design, instead, we deal with the look of the application, the visual design like the style, the typography, the colors, the themes, the interaction with the various controls, and the creation of useful mockups that are high-fidelity images of the product's design that showcase how the finished product will look. Now, let's see what is, instead, the software design. In a very few words, software design is the part of the software development process in which it is decided how to implement concretely the software architecture, and, consequently, how to create the various software systems and subsystems that will compose it. The various design decisions are taken through the usage of useful tools like UML, that is the Unified Modeling Language, Software Design Patterns, and so on. So far, so good. Let's finally see a simple example of UX and UI design, with this set of wireframes of the editor's user interface. As we can see on the screen, we should have a splash screen that pop-ups at the initialization of the editor, and it should show to the user the name of the app and some loading information. Once the initialization is finished, the splash screen should be closed and another tool should appear. This tool should be the project browser or the editor itself. Let's move on to the next wireframe in which we can see an hypothetical project's browser. The image on the left shows the Open Project tab of the browser, in which we could find a list view with all the projects opened previously. The image on the right instead shows the New Project tab, in which we could select various options that should allow the user to create, indeed, a new project. Last but not least, once we have decided and selected the project to open, the project's browser should be closed and the main editor window, like the one we are seeing on the screen, should be opened up. The main editor, at least initially, should be composed of a series of dockable windows like the Entity Hierarchy, the Scene Viewport, the Properties View, the Assets Browser and the Console window. Obviously, these are a series of simple wireframes of the UI, so they don't represent in any way the final user interface. That's all for now, folks. In the next weeks, the development of the editor will finally start with the implementation of the splash screen and the project's browser, and their implementation details will be discussed in a new video. If you have questions or doubts about this topic, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section or in the Discord server at the following link. Also, please consider to support the development of Part Engine and the making of these videos on Patreon. Every single contribution makes the difference, regardless the amount. If you want to be up to date with the latest news, you can also subscribe to the newsletter of Part Engine at the following link. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Thanks for watching.